Today I'm gonna to give you nine tips for how to stop your cat spraying everywhere. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Avery from rpetshealth.com, helping you and your cat to live a healthier, happier life. So if it's your first time here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, cats who urinate everywhere, who are spraying outside of the litter tray, they're urinating outside of the litter tray, they're having accidents around the house. It's a really stressful time, not just for you, but also for your cat. And there are a number of things we can do to stop that. So today, I'm gonna to give you nine tips and nine steps. So step number one is to understand why cats spray. So spraying is a marking behavior. They are leaving their urine scent mark in their environment, really to let other cats and other animals know that they're around. It helps them control their territory. It helps avoid conflict with other cats. And so that's really why they're doing it. They're marking their territory. So step number two to stop your cat spraying everywhere is to understand the difference between spraying and actually inappropriate urination. So when your cat is spraying, they will typically back up to a vertical surface, so like a wall, maybe the side of your sofa, and they will often lift their tail. It may twitch a little bit and the urine will spray out and onto that vertical surface. So that's really spraying. Urination on the other hand, they will get into a crouching position um, and they will urinate as though they're urinating normally. They might strain a little bit and things like that, but they will be urinating on a horizontal surface. So that's really the big difference between urination and spraying, and that's really important. So step number three is to make sure there's no underlying medical condition. And this is definitely the case if your cat is urinating inappropriately rather than spraying. So if they're squatting, but they're not using their litter tray, they're going in different parts, then that might be a sign that something else is going on. And there are a whole heap of different problems that can cause inappropriate urination in cats. Um, and they include things like arthritis, um, diabetes, kidney disease, where there may be either difficulty getting into the litter tray or your cat may be just producing so much urine, they really just need to go all the time. Um, and then other conditions that actually affect the bladder and the urinary tract itself. So things like cystitis, bladder tumors, um, bladder stones, that kind of thing. So if there's anything like that going on, then obviously we need to tackle the root cause and that should resolve and correct the problem with inappropriate urination. If your cat's got arthritis, I've certainly got several videos and strategies about that. Um, and also with cystitis, I've got some videos and strategies that we can use to cope with that. So make sure you check out those videos, which I'll link down in the script description below. Okay, so step number four is to check that your cat is neutered. So this might seem like an obvious thing, but our cats who are neutered are much less likely to spray. Um, they've got less of a drive to maintain a territory, to defend that territory. They're generally less stressed as well. So if your cat is spraying and they are entire, then getting them neutered might be just what needs to happen to resolve that problem. There are certainly other reasons that we should be getting our cats, um, our cats spayed or castrated. And I've got a video that I'll link up here and also down in the description that lets you know the benefits of that and also when you sh can, should consider getting your cat neutered. So step number five is to reduce your cat's stress levels. So this is especially the case if they're spraying. Uh, stress really just causes them to want to mark their territory more. So as well as spraying, they might be clawing and scratching the furniture. Again, just trying to mark out their territory. Stress is a huge issue in cats and it's often one that we don't recognize maybe as well as we should just because there, some of the signs can be subtle, but spraying is often really a true sign that your cat is stressed. They can be stressed about a lot of different things and there are a whole number of ways that we can go about correcting that, which might involve in environmental changes, making sure that cats aren't coming into your house and eating their food, uh, making sure there's the right number of food bowls and litter trays, depending on the number of cats in your house. Um, and I've got a lot of other tips in the video I'll link up here, all about reducing stress in your cat. Okay, step number six is to consider litter tray management. So that involves what type of litter are you using? So some cats will really like one litter that maybe is unscented and you're using a scented one. They might dislike a clay-based one that can actually clump and stick uh, to the soles of their feet. So consider the litter type, the litter tray type as well. So if your cat has arthritis, then they might find actually getting into a high lit litter tray quite difficult. 
consider where you're putting your litter tray. So cats will generally like kind of private enclosed areas, so not in really busy kind of through traffic areas. So the middle of the hall or by the front door really wouldn't be a great spot for, for their litter tray. Also cleaning them regularly. So again, some cats will only really want to use a litter tray once or they won't use it if another cat's been in there. So making sure that you clean the litter tray regularly enough uh, and then having enough litter trays. So as a, as a general rule, we should have one more litter tray than the number of cats in the house. So if you've only got one cat, then that's two litter trays. If you've got four cats, then really you need five litter trays all in different, different locations. So litter tray management is another way that we can stop our cats spraying everywhere and urinating everywhere. So at step number seven, and if there's still a problem after all of these other tips, if your cat, especially if they're spraying or urinating in one spot in particular, what you can try and do is either actually just move their litter tray there. It might not be where you want it, but if you can get them back using the litter tray, you can then slowly move it back to a position where you're happy for that litter tray to be. Alternatively, you can even actually try putting their food and water in that area. Cats are really clean, hygienic animals in general, and they don't like peeing where their food or their water is. So putting that there can help put them off. So step number eight is to clean up properly after your cat. So there are certain things within the cat's urine that will attract them back to that same spot. And so they'll often kind of keep remarking in the same spot. Now, what this means is that we need to clean that away properly. Now, what I generally suggest is that while there are various sprays um, and cleaners on the market which do a good job, another thing that we can use is we can use uh, biological washing powder, just mix that with a bit of water to create a, a solution and then just really scrub that area, allow that to soak in uh, and what will happen is the enzymes in that biological washing powder will help break down all of the things that are attracted attracting your cat back to that area. The same goes for the sprays, they work in a very similar way, uh, but making sure that you clean up really appropriately and quickly and with the right cleaner is very important. And then step number nine is things to avoid. So you should definitely avoid negative reinforcement, so don't shout at your cat, don't uh, kind of punish them in any way, especially if it's a long time after they're doing that spraying or urinating, because all that's gonna do is gonna make them more stressed they're probably not gonna understand, have a clue what they've done wrong, uh, and that's probably only gonna make the problem worse. It's certainly not gonna improve the situation. Another thing that we should avoid doing in cats that are urinating everywhere or urinating outside of their litter tray is to use ammonia-based cleaning products. So they have things that ammonia is what's kind of actually attracting cats back to the area. So by using things like bleach, you can actually be kind of just perpetuating the problem because your cat will be attracted back to that area. And then the last thing that you should avoid doing is avoid using deterrent sprays. So again, if you've got something in a cat's environment that really is repelling them, it's only gonna cause them more stress. And while they might not urinate in that particular spot again, they're just gonna go and find somewhere else to urinate, and it's not gonna be in the litter tray. So I hope all of these points, these nine tips to stop your cat urinating everywhere, help solve your habit. I know it can be an incredibly stressful time, both for your cat and for you as their owner. If you've got any other tips that have really worked for you, or if you've got any questions, then please leave me a comment down below. Also remember to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family.